going to show you how to put on armor. I'm also wearing red because as I put the armor on, uh, you'll clearly see where the gaps are, the spots that the armor doesn't cover. Rugby helmet. This is all my hidden protection here. This is uh, for riding like street bikes. Now this is my armor. There are many different kinds of armor, but you'll see things in this video that relate to different types of armor. Uh, it'll be interesting for you to see. Now let me show you this. These are my um, Thai fishing pants that go and cover my leg armor. I'm gonna show you, I have, so knee pads. Here, do the video of this part. These are paintball knee pads, and my greaves go on and hold them in place, and then of course, an athletic supporter. My armor though, actually, um, covers that area, and I really don't need an athletic supporter, but I wear one anyway. Putting these fishing pants on, if you have like a, an Eastern kit or something where you need to hide the leg armor, the ties go in the back. I'm just going to tie them loosely just for right now because we're going to redo this part after we get the leg armor together. All my armor is in this box right here. Helmet does not fit. Leather straps, um, paracord, tools. Uh, there's a first aid kit. There's some other things in here, just supplies for fighting and of course duct tape. So here, get a, a look at this. This is my bin of armor. Everything fits in here. And one thing I'm just gonna point out right now is that if you see these shoes here, I'm not wearing them because I don't want these to destroy my wooden floor. Here's a mouthpiece, which I'm not gonna put in for a video either. Either. <laughs> so these shoes are what I typically wear. Um, but for this video, I'm going to just wear regular shoes so I don't mess up my floor. So my greaves, I usually put on sitting down. As you can see, they have two straps on the inside and two that buckle on the outside. And I will often sit on my bin for my armor for a seat. Here you can get a look in the back here. For something. All right, so I'm gonna put these straps on. These are the straps that go on the inside. These are the straps that go on the inside. And I will tuck this in here. These hold on, uh, I put them on very snug. I will tuck this in here and then they fold up. I watch that there's no fabric being caught inside here. If they do, I sort of pull it out. We can shut these here. The plates overlap. So you have 360 protection on these. So we're gonna put our upper leg protection on. These will hide them. They're on, attached to this belt. Here, if you come look at this here real quick. This uh, seat belt has three parts. Is that focused when you get so close? Mm -hmm. All right, so just to, to save time, just doing it real quick. As you can see, there's three parts here. And if you look here, you can see where I have these pointed with these leather straps to each side. These legs have four leather straps. These two that come around the back here. And I don't put these on super tight. Uh, I found that actually hinders my movement a little bit. Basically, I'm putting these on here, and as I fasten these up, I'll turn around, and you will see where the gaps are on the backs of my legs. 
meaning like the places where the armor doesn't cover, that I can get hit. I can do all this myself. Um, we're going to be getting to a part here, though, where I'm going to need help. I'll show you a view from the back as we're putting these on. And one thing about having hidden leg protection, since I can't see uh, underneath these brown pants whenever I'm out there in the list, I have this duct tape. So I'll take some duct tape, and I'll actually wrap it around where the buckle goes. That way, because I can't see once these are up, and you can get a, a view of this from back there. When these are up, I can't see if my straps come undone, and it happens sometimes. But there you go, and as I say, behind the knees, no one sees, right? Gaps. But uh, my armor actually will cover, even like down past my hips, so I don't worry about this part too much. But there's always a chance you could, very slight chance you could get caught in here. Uh, these leaves will actually stop blows when they're coming from this way from hitting back here. But as you can see, we have some gaps. These pants seem to be pulled up enough. Sometimes I might pull these out a little bit more to get a more of a baggy look. And then, as you remember, these ties go in the back. You take it in the front, you fold it over like this, and these straps come around. And you tie them. And I tie them up above this belt. I tie it very tight because one time I was fighting and my pants fell down. Mm -hmm. I learned my lesson. I make sure that this is very tight and I will double knot this. My shoulders and my arms, all that protection is already connected to this army coat, my gambeson. So I'll put them on, but if I get a little closer, I'll show you this. Inside here, my bazabans actually have, um, just like the greaves on my calves, these two straps inside, which I already have tightened as tight as I, I like them. And then they will fasten on the outside. I just have to make sure that overlaps there. If you want to get a, a look at my shoulders here, if you see how everything's tied. You can see the leather straps up here. You can see how everything ties into the shoulders. See up on top of the shoulder where those two where these straps are right there, and that goes through my jacket. And there's a leather uh, a leather square between this fabric layer and the steel, just to help um, keep it from being worn down. I have a whole other video on this where it goes into more detail about things like that, and I encourage you to watch it if you want to see. My armor uh, up close in all the details. My neck protection. Some people put this on over top so it's easier to take off. I put mine on underneath. And the reason that some people put it on top is it's easier to take off so when it's hot out, um, your carotid arteries here um, let off a lot of heat, like, like a heat sink. So if you put this on underneath, like I do, I'm not going to be able to get this off until after I'm done fighting. Some of these um, army jackets you might find have ties in the front. This one just has some buckles. I'm going to slide over. <laughs> this strap needs to go underneath the shoulder here. Here, come on and help. You get that shoulder, this part of the top. Yeah, just pick that no, no, pick, pick this. No, just, just pick it up from the, the end, from the side. Yeah, pick that up. See the, the clip that's one up by the neck curve, right? Can you get it off? Are you getting it on? Yeah. Okay. 
We got it in the top. Okay, shoulders good over top. Now, I just want to show you a tip. These are the same on both sides. You might wonder how do you know which way they go. I put it so that the long straps hang off the back. So you give a, a flick of the arm, you can grab the straps, and then you can put these on yourself. It's a lot harder to put it on the other way if you can't reach the buckles in the back. And I don't put these on very tight anyway. So as she's putting my, uh, I have four straps on the sides. As she's putting that on, I will just tell you that uh, if someone is doing that, if you have a squire that's taller, rest, rest your arm on their shoulder while they're doing it. Here, let me spin this way so they can sort of see. And the front overlaps the back. Front overlaps the back so that a sword or something can't come in. You're usually being attacked from the front. Just get the bottom one on tight and then you can put the other ones loose just for the video. Good? No. Yeah. Just close it So you can see where these gaps are here, but uh, it's pretty pretty well protected armor. I will show you this. So this is the helmet. <laughs> this strap here actually um, connects to that buckle in the middle of my uh, spine there, just to hold it on. But Does it look okay? Everything looks all right? I got my gauntlets on. How does it look? It could move around pretty good in this armor too. Let me just show you one thing about the helmet. Because this is not very medieval, but it makes it very safe. Can you see that? It's uh, This is so much better having a football chin strap in here. That is what I use to help keep this helmet on. So there you go. I hope you liked the video. Um, I'd like to thank my lovely squire, but it does take some strength to get these tightened up and these shoulder straps, but uh, you get the idea. This is how armor goes on. Thanks for watching everybody, and we'll catch you in the next video.